Hello, everyone. I'm Mr. Bergolini, and I want to talk about a couple of things today before I make this announcement here. So, first thing I want to talk about is today is the 100th birthday of former President Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter is officially the first centenarian president in American history. He, tur he turned 100 years old as of today, and I don't care much about his political or social views. However, I will say one thing about the man. He built houses, he taught people about farming, and he warned us about banks and corporations becoming too powerful here in America and other places in the world today. So for that alone, I will say congratulations, President Carter, for making it to 100 years old. I'm surprised you made it this long, but you did it anyway, and that's what matters. And now for the monthly vlog on my health. For those of you who not in the know, I returned to the carnivore diet back on July 20th when I weighed possibly 310 pounds. And for those of you that have not seen the vlog from last month, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little explanation, but this is the final time I'm going to do it. Back on July 20th, I had inflamed kidneys, vision problems, stiff muscles, irritability. I was really bloated all the time, etc. And I know I was obviously fat. I'm still fat as of this recording, but I'm making a whole lot of progress. Well... What I did since the carnivore diet was I've been working very hard. And what do, what do I mean by that? You know, doing yard work, burning stuff, and spending time with people on their adventures, etc. So that's exactly what I've been doing. And because of that, I've lost weight. I'm doing great. As a matter of fact, today I registered my waistline and I lost three and a half inches on my waist. If you do the math, I started off on August 1st at 55 inches on my waist, and then I lost 3 inches, that was down to 52 inches, and then for the month of September I lost 3 and a half inches. So if you factored in all of this stuff right here, that has to be 6 and a half inches that I've lost since then, and I think if I factored in another inch lost before I did my official registration, I must have lost a good seven and a half inches, but officially for the record books, I've lost six and a half inches on my waist. And because of that, I'm able to fit into old shirts like this that I haven't worn in quite a while. And I feel more comfortable in it every time I put it on because I know I'm losing weight and etc. Well, I'm going to give myself a simple goal of losing two inches a month every month from here on to determine how much weight I've lost for the whole year of 2024. I'm really taking accountability by getting out there, doing physical activity, continuing to eat carnivore, avoiding the junk foods, avoiding whatever I ordered, etc. Because of all that, now it's time for the main event. The reason why I'm doing this. Well, YouTube has become so much of a hassle as of late. A lot of my friends have become tired of YouTube. Constantly ramming advertisements down their throat. It's affecting the channels that I like and it's also gotten to a point where censorship has just gotten ridiculous on YouTube. I mean a lot of the channels that I supported they're having to censor what they have to say just so they can earn a quick dollar or so. I don't care about monetizing videos, etc. I'm going to say what I want to say regardless of what YouTube's censorship policies are. But it ain't just that that's becoming the problem. I mean Getting your video out there is not easy anymore because the algorithm, no matter how many times you ask for likes and subscribers, the algorithm is not going to do you any favors anymore. So essentially, you're wasting hours and hours just to promote nothing. With YouTube censorship being insanely across the board, I've decided that I'm going to step away from YouTube for a bit. Occasionally, I will come back just to do vlogs like these or do a cooking show, etc., and, of course, I will stick around on YouTube mainly to comment on the channels that I like and support. But I guess this is pretty much it for me. I mean, I've produced a lot of videos for YouTube for the past couple of months, and I'm getting tired of editing and doing all that stuff just for my own subscribers to tell me, hey, I haven't been notified about this. I haven't been notified about that. I'm subscribed to you. Why am I not getting notified? Well, you got to bring that up with YouTube. So where am I going to go from here on if I'm going to produce videos outside of YouTube? Well, the main thing is Fashopedia, a site where you get to learn about fascism from an uncensored perspective because the world has been shaming fascism for quite a long time. And some people want to know what fascism truly is in an uncensored form. So you can go to Fashopedia and find out for yourself what fascism really is with facts and logic behind it. As for Rumble, oh yeah, I'm long overdue to create a new video for Rumble. 
And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about how flawed the election system is and why leaders certainly don't serve the, the greater good of mankind. Or I could talk about how politics has really ruined America and how social media keeps influencing political nonsense on the Internet. I have to think about what I'm going to do for Rumble, but I know I'm going to go to Fashopedia and talk about fascism in an uncentered format and figure out how to make a correlate between the flaws of the election system, the flaws of the political parties, etc. And you'll learn right out of the gate why we need fascism in this country. Well, that's pretty much it for me. I'm going to go ahead and start my morning. I hope you have a good morning and I hope you have a good month. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care.